Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. Look, I was having a talk to some of my friends and uh, one of them, one of them commented to me, they said, oh, you know, I was talking about the Archie 5, my five wristwatches, and he said, oh, the Breguet, the Breguet is probably the weakest link. And I'm thinking, how do you mean the Breguet is the weakest link? It's one of the greatest chronographs of all time. Breguet is a super brand, and uh, I said, Ex please explain. And uh, he said, well, you know, <clears throat> the Breguet is not a proper Breguet. It's not, it's not the same as the original uh, Breguet. And uh, he said to me, he said, oh, it's just a swatch group thing. And, uh, he j you know, he just very quickly brushed it off as being a swatch group marketing ploy. And uh, I said, hang on a minute, the Breguet Type 20 is a legendary item made for the French French Air Force. And uh, I said to him, do you know what the movement's like on this piece? Do you have any idea what sort of movement Breguet used on this piece? I said, it's an in-house 582 and the movement is absolutely amazing. The finishing... The way it's all done, I said, is equally as good as anything the Holy Trinity members can can do there. And uh, he then quickly said, oh, it's a Lamania-based movement. And I said, yes, it is Lamania-based. But Swatch Group owns Lamania. And I said, well, you know... Squatch Group owns Lamania. It, it is in-house. This movement is only used on the Breguet. And I said, I'll tell you something else. This movement is of the highest grade. I said, you know who else used to use Lamania movements? Patek. That's right. <laughs> the legendary Patek 2499. That's a perpetual manual wine chronograph. Yeah, it uses a Lamania-based movement. So anyone who gives Breguet a stick, they're just crazy. So, uh, you know, I just wanted to uh, to make this video here and show you the movement. The Lamania movement that Breguet uses, which is in-house because it's owned by the same firm, is one of the wonders of the, the, the watch world there. And uh, this Breguet would have to be probably the most value, full value, upper luxury watch there ever was. And I paid about $5,000 for my Breguet in steel and uh, automatic flyback chronograph. It doesn't get much better. So anyone who criticizes the Breguet and says, oh, it's not a real Breguet, they have no idea what they're talking about. This is a heavy hitting, high end, upper luxury wristwatch and uh, it deserves its place and uh, I'd have no problem I mean I was looking at a, uh, a Vacheron chronograph the Vacheron overseas in steel it was twenty four thousand eight hundred dollars and uh, I I really would, would would like to challenge anyone to find a better chronograph for the bang per buck from an upper luxury brand like Breguet I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think of the Breguet Type 20.